Our Indian consumers and car owners, do they really know what this means for their own budget? This fuel switch, what does this mean for their own wallet? Because uh, we're saying transition lacks transparency. Uh, is the consumer educated enough or not? But what is going to be the, um, you know, the pain point when it comes to the wallet? Uh, so thanks for having me. Frankly, this is a very controversial issue. Uh, the government has been hmm. talking about E20 fuel for a bit two, three years and had been very, very specific. But practically as a customer, I don't think so. Even customer is aware when we talk of what is E20. Hmm. Uh, normally methanol, ethanol, these are the words which are used and customers expect that some mixture is happening. But expecting a 20% mixture of whenever he's buying a petrol and then to when there is no price difference, if it is not E20 or EO5 or EO10, that's a major issue. And very frankly, it when a vehicle gets in a situation where it goes to the workshop and then workshop starts opening the vehicle and tells him by key the gasket is not accepting right. the is not working then he comes to know that whatever he's filling is not the same petrol for which his vehicle was manufactured hmm. and hmm. particularly if you see uh, bs6 vehicles which have been just started what 20 around covid 2020 right. if i talk pre bs6 vehicle BS, even today we have BS0 vehicle which is flying all over India, maybe not in Delhi, but all over India. And they are not equipped to even have E05 or E10, but they are right. still working and so because it's so old, nobody is talking about warranty. But anything which is BS4, which has just been sold five years back, a customer doesn't expect that because of fuel, his normal gaskets and normal rubber parts will get affected and he'll have to bear the uh, brunt because no dealer... That no to every 20, 30,000 kilometers. They're going to have to yeah. bear the brunt every 20, 30,000 kilometers. And not just that, sir. And, There's going to be E20 the... tuning that needs to be done. How do, how can you make sure and, uh, you know, say out unilaterally that everybody has the money to afford an E20 tuning? Uh, you know, on the Libra scales, you're trying to uh, assess uh, what weighs, uh, you know, higher and more. Environment versus economics. It seems like we're looking towards greener fuel, but there are several gray areas uh, with this greener fuel as well. How does the common man now navigate this? And uh, is this prudent? Is this sound as a move by the government? See, first of all, use of ethanol for vehicles is not new. Brazil is doing it for many years now, many right. decades for the introduce. Now, E20, as it is said, it is 20% of blending. Any new technology, when it is introduced, there are hiccups. Let's look at we are importing every drop of fossil fuel. And you also mentioned that even for production of ethanol, we might have to import uh, maize. Right. But yes, our productivity over a period of time will go up and we will be able to meet that demand locally. And it's also coming from agriculture residue. So what we are looking at basically is that for the fossil fuels also, we try to have independence or from imports, like we are looking at green. Now, of course, very well said that what it's going to cost to the customer, what we are neglecting, what is the cost to the environment? And environment and you're in my health. Now come like what happens during the month November onwards in Delhi, the first target is vehicles. So we say hmm. first ban diesel vehicles and then this vehicle and then all uh, the odd even scheme and so on. So why it is happening? Because of the emissions from the automobile. Right. We want to reduce that. Now, what has been said, I totally agree what we should have is that we should be little sensible in terms of which vehicle we should put E20 fuel in. It should not be open to all the vehicles and customers should also have a choice. Like today, we I have a choice whether I want to fill unleaded petrol or I want to use... But at many of those fueling petrol. stations, ma'am, at many of those fueling stations, doctor, uh, you know, there is no option. You only have the option of the E20 fuel. 